Hi, Patron for Kathy Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be using Tsunami's budget combo. This combo is around $100. And I'm gonna be attempting to catch flounder from the surf. Now, I'm gonna talk about the rod and reel that I'm using. This is the Tsunami Armor 2000. And then this is the Tsunami Classic Medium Light 7 Foot Rod. Now this is an incredible uh, combo for young anglers like myself, even younger or older. And for flounder fishing and for catching fish, you don't need an expensive combo. You just need a rod that is strong and can catch you fish. So I'm gonna be attempting to catch flounder from the surf with a quarter ounce single jig and a six inch gold jerk shad. And I'm gonna see you guys on the head camp and let's try to catch some flounder from the beach today. I got 20 pound test braid on this 2000 armor, 15 pound test monofilament, a loop knot with a quarter ounce single jig, and I got a six inch jerk shout. Now, there's a lot of birds. It's a beautiful day on the surf. We have a north wind with the north, the wind coming into your face. So there's a sandbar out there. And for flounders, they'll like this deep current and there's bait right in front of me. So I'm gonna cast into the bait, into the wind. Reel down, pop, pop, double pop. Reel down, make sure my line is tight. Give it a double pop, pop. I'm gonna reel down, make sure my line is tight, and pop, pop. With this rod and reel combo, it's an incredible combo because it's very light very sensitive, very parabolic, and it has a lot of action. It's very good for fishing here. There you go, got one. Took a while, but it's okay. Move around. Oh, 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 ah. Now, nah, all right. Couldn't show you that one. But what I did is I found a nice pocket where it's not that moving water. I cast my bait out. I worked it in, I felt the bite, I felt some weight, and I got them. Switching up my technique, Dad is working a half pound single jig with a six inch jerk shad. Now I'm going to be working a quarter ounce jig with a four inch rough sharp truce. So I'm going to work a different technique. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out and the peanut bunker moves in closer, so I don't need to cast out far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this hits the bottom, and then I'm gonna get rapid jigs. Like so, I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna give rapid jigs with my raw tip, and I'm gonna slowly reel, slowly reel, and I'm gonna work my raw tip. And with this rod, that it has a fast action, my jig is going like this, and the tail is going crazy. So I'm gonna be working just like that. Hopefully getting a bite, and hopefully catching a keeper. All right, so we move towards the jetty. Uh, excuse me. And water is a lot, a lot deeper over here. This water is very deep. And the flounder are going to be light, are going to hide in that eddy. There's an eddy right there. There you go. There's a fluke. Woo. All right. 
There we go. Got one. Nice little flatty. Oh my gosh. Super fast. Gorging. Gorging on uh, peanut nut bunker. As you can see, it just regurgitated on my shirt. You could have that. My gosh. Woo. Dirty teeth and everything. Nice little flounder. See you, buddy. Ah, uh, chilling right there. following in and they're heading right in front fish are very fat, they're very healthy, feeding on a lot of peanut bunker, I don't know, maybe like 13, 14 inches. passing towards the jetty and I'm pat and I'm bringing it in an angle and I'm moving my rod tip with a slow retrieve a moderate retrieve and uh, these flounders are crushing it they are crushing it with every single almost every single cast crushing all over the place, up and down from here to there. Got another one now. I had another one.
or tip two or three is profile. Now, there's a small peanut bunker. They're maybe like three, four inches long. So I'm using like a four inch size bait. It doesn't matter the color, but what matters is the size. Like sometimes they're feeding on small baits, they'll hit a big bait. Sometimes they're feeding on small baits, they'll hit small baits. They're feeding on big baits, they'll hit small baits. It all depends on profile. So that's using a six inch. He's getting some bites. I'm using a quarter ounce, uh, a four inch. I'm catching some fish and getting some bites. Small, but they're fun. On this light, medium light, light tackle. So that's a tip for you guys. Pay attention on what, what the fish are eating. And if you pay attention on what the fish are eating and you try to match, match the hatch. That's when that word comes very big in. Matching the hatch, try to replicate these fish. They're feeding on small bait, try to replicate it. So. That's a tip for you guys. And you should really take that in key on what these fish are feeding. These, this fluke season, it's been small bay anchovies, small peanut bunker, and stuff like that. Nothing really too big. So, what are we gonna be working with? Small presentations. On the roof of the mouth. A tip for you guys and the fluke it's a jig deep into the mouth put your finger through the gills not into the gills rip them out 
but put your finger on top of the hook, pop the hook down, and he will get in it. Nice 15 incher. Like 15, 16, not even like 14, 15. But he's gonna get back. Whew. Okay, well that is a wrap for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed we made it out. We had a northwest uh, we had a north wind which was to our face, but it was alright. Car few summer flounder also known from food, also known as food from the sure. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned some tips on how to catch summer flounder and the uh, tsunami classic medium light rod with the 2000 armor. Uh, 20 pound test rig, 20 pound test tsunami fluorocarbon with a quarter ounce shake and a four inch gold grub did the trick. I'll have all the gear that I used linked down in the description box below so you can check out everything I used and we used in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, give us a like, comment down below what you thought, what you think of the video follow uh share it to your family and friends it helps us a lot thank you guys for all the support so we can keep putting out videos neat cool videos like these so we're gonna wrap it up and remember life is better when we add fish and water see you at the next one